this is the Roulette Master, and I've got a fun system for you today. Today we're going to start with Follow the Winner on red and black, and then we're going to move through a series of stages. So let's go ahead and get started and see what you think of this system. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and double the bet and move to red. Okay, and once we get a win on the color, we're going to go ahead and move to the 12s. And we're going to bet on the one that hit last and the one that uh, has been the longest since it's hit. And that would be the second 12 and the third 12. Okay, and then if we lose that one, we're going to triple the bet on the first one. So now we're going to switch to $30 on first 12 and $30 on third 12. Okay, but then after this one, we're not going to triple again. We're going to double because we lost that one and we are going to change the bet though so instead of 30 going tripling we're just going to double it so uh, we're going to go to sixty dollars each on second 12 and third 12. okay we got it and then we're going to go ahead and go backwards from the $60 back to the 30 and we're going to stay on this until until we make some money and then go to the next stage. So now we're at $30 and we're going to pick the one that just hit and the one that hasn't hit in a while. Okay, and we got a win. So now we're going to go to the next stage, and the next stage is going to be 1 to 18 and 19 to 36. Uh, followed the winner, and we're going to go start with 1 to 18 for $10. Okay, we got it. So now we're going to move from 1 to 18, 19, 36 to even odd. Follow the winner. So $10 on even. We're currently up $30. Okay, and we got a win there. Now the final stage is to go to the columns. And we're going to, we're going to bet on what hit last which is the eight, which is the second column. And then the one that's been the longest since it's hit, which is the, let's see, that would be the third, the third one. We'll leave the first one open and see if we can get a win here. Okay, and we did get a win. So that completes the cycle. We're at $50, and then you can either start over or cash out. Now, one thing I want to talk about is when we did the 12s and the columns, instead of when you, when you start with losses on those, we don't go after a win, we don't restart and go to the next, uh, next level until we get back to $30 and win. So it's going to be a triple, then double when you're playing the, the, uh, 24 numbers whether you're using the 12s or the columns so just like in that example there when um, if you lose the first one you go from 10 to 30 and if you lose the next one you go from 30 to 60 if you lose that one you go from 60 to 120 and you just keep doubling on those but you have to work your way back to 30 before you can start the next one so when you're doing 12s or columns remember that and I think that's the best way to play those instead of tripling every time. Triple Martingale uh, accelerates it too much. 
and you end up uh, getting too high up and uh, losing your bankroll when you do that. So if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. And again, one little recap here. We're going to start with the color uh, with $10 units. Once we hit, we're going to find we're going to follow the winner on that. Once you hit, you're going to pick the 12 that has recently hit and the one that's been the longest since it's hit. Once you win that, you're going to go to 1 to 18 or 19 to 36 following the winner. And once you get a win there, you're going to go to even odd, follow the winner. And once you get a win there, you're going to pick the column that's hit most recent and the one that's been the longest since it's hit. And then if you can finish that out, that's the end of the cycle. And again, you can either, in this case, that won $50. And um, you can either take the $50 and go, or you can start the whole thing over again. And then just start back with the colors again. So uh, I'll do one more go through here. Just uh, probably might not go all the way through, but just want to make sure everyone understands. So we're we'll following the winner on color. Okay, now we go to the 12s, which is the one that just hit, which is the second 12, and the one that's been the longest since it's hit, the third 12. And we got a win there, so now we're going to go ahead and go to 1 to 18, 19 to 36, follow the winner. Okay, we lost, so we're going to double that. And we're going to move to 1 to 18. Okay, we lost there. So now we're going to go back to 19 to 36. And double the bet. Okay, we won that. So after that, now we're up $80. And after we win there... Now we've won on the color, on the 12s, and then uh, on the 1 to 18, 19 to 36. The next one's going to be even, odd, follow the winner. Again, you start back at 10 each time. And we lost, so then we'll double the bet and go to odd, follow the winner. Okay, we got it. Now it's time to go to the columns, and we're going to pick the one that has hit last, which is the, let's see, that's the first column, and then the, let's see, the one that's been the longest since it's hit would be the second, and we're going to leave the third vacant. Okay, and we lost. So remember, we're going to go ahead and triple the bet first. So from 10 to 30 on each. And we're going to make sure we bet on the one that just hit. And then the one that's been the longest since it's hit. Which we, So we're going to leave the first one out this time. Okay. So now we're going to double. We're not going to triple. And let's see that. I think I did that right, but let me see. So now the 22 just hit. So that's the 22 is in the first. So we make sure to include that. And now we're just going to double. So let's see. Actually, it would go from 30 to 60 when you double. And let's see, the 30 is in down. The 30 is in. Whoops, take that out of there. 30 is in the third, so we're going to go ahead and leave that out. We're going to do the first and second at at 60. But I accidentally put one in the black there, so let's put those back up. There, there we go. And remember, if we went at 60, we're not done. We have to get back to 30. 
Okay, so now we're going to retreat to 30. But let me make sure I have the right ones. So, again, each time you have to switch them. So, we're going to look at the one with the 20 in it. And then we're also going to look at the one that's been the longest since it's hit, which would be now the third. Okay, and won that one. So now we can go ahead and cash out. We're up 130, and I think I actually made a mistake on that last one. And uh, let me see here, because yeah, it says 50. I should have had 20 each on that last one. So I accidentally put $10 extra there on the the one that hit there. So probably would have made a little bit less than that. But um, I think this is a fun fun way to play where you uh, have have a desired number of levels to go through before you finish and then you can decide after each one if you're happy with the amount of money that you've made or if you want to start the system over again so um, at least I enjoy I enjoy betting where there's levels just remember that when you're doing the the 24 numbers you triple and first and then double and then get back to that original triple before you cash out and so for instance if you started at 10 each and then you went to 30 each and then you went to 60 each if you want at 60 you would go back to 30 and once you want at 30 you would cash out so it's a only triple one time on those and then on the other ones you can double but uh, just like any other system when you're when you're doubling or tripling your bets you can uh, you can always lose your bankroll at any time but this is a fun way to play uh, where you can make some money fairly fast, but uh, never always remember never to gamble with money that you uh, that you uh, can't lose. And uh, hope you had fun with this one today. This is the Roulette Master, and have a great day, guys.